Arriba! Arriba! Happy Cinco de Mayo Day! Okay, this morning I was looking at a thing on the Sunday, um, this morning Sunday. Uh, I was looking at this program uh, about sinkholes. And I said, hey, you know, today is the 5th, that's Cinco de Mayo. So I called this, this vlog Sinkhole de Mayo. And uh, I hope everybody's having a great time today. Um, I'm not drinking, so um, I'm having fun in a different way. I was looking at a very interesting thing about uh, Mexican history. And I never was one to get into the history books when I was a kid. Not only for the fact that I was dyslexic, I, I didn't like to read, but um, throughout history I've noticed that, um, you know, people have been building forts. Uh, it seems that, that fighting is in the nature of uh, human existence. and. Um, well, it doesn't seem it is. Um, and it goes right down to the smallest insect. Uh, there's always a queen, there's always a, something to be fought for. And um, I think that inherently that is what's going on with human beings on, on this earth. So, uh, you know, have fun, but uh, pillage and plunder. <laughs> I guess, you know, what is it? Everybody's a pirate, I guess, you know. But, but getting back to the history of uh, uh, Mexico, um, Texas and California did not belong to the government. And uh, it was an interesting story that I seen about uh, President Lincoln. At the time, he was a senator. And he was totally against taking over Mexico, uh, Mexico's property. And, but it's not, they, they, back then, they, they kind of put a, a squash on the uh, publicity of that. So they didn't advertise his uh, resentment of, um, of that particular act. But interesting thing about it was uh, Robert E. Lee and General Grant were in both of those wars. Uh, or both? They were in that war. The Montezuma. Uh, I think the, the name of our anthem in the, in the, um, middle, the um, one of the anthems that we have, it, ta it talks about uh, from the halls of Montezuma. And that's what they're referring to. They're, they're, uh, they're referring to the battle, uh, that Mexican battle, which was a very bloody war. And you know, what's disturbing about it was the fact that uh, a lot of the young kids, they were teenagers, uh, they, they ranged in age, you know, from 13, maybe lower, uh, up to uh, 19. So basically they were children that was left behind to fight in that. So it really was a slaughter, when you think about it. Anyway, I don't, I, I don't really mean to put a bad note on today's um, I think Cinco de Mayo is, um, is um, an excuse to party. Hey, I love these guys. I had to make a vlog. Catch you later on.